Could the government hack your car? You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. The investigation into the death of Michael Hastings is ongoing at the time of this recording, and at this point there may still be evidence that has yet to surface. The LAPD has ruled out foul play, and the journalist's brother, Jeff Hastings, doesn't think Michael was murdered. Several technical experts have chimed in to note that this accident, including the fire, was not, in their opinion, unusual and did not indicate some shadowy assassination scheme. Numerous people either disagree with or question odd aspects about this case, including former government officials. While Hastings surely angered some powerful people, that doesn't mean he can't just have had a fatal car accident. After all, why would any hypothetical assassins make such an elaborate plan? Is it even possible to hack a car? Here's where it gets crazy. Yes, what was once merely the stuff of crime fiction has become alarmingly real. According to journalist James Vincent, two US experts have demonstrated their ability to hack the computers in cars, remotely controlling the acceleration, braking, and steering in a project sponsored by DARPA. In their work, Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek accessed the onboard diagnostics port and overrode driver commands. The men were able to tighten the belts, take control of the wheel, change fuel and speed displays, and even disable the brakes. In their demonstration, the men hacked a Toyota Prius and a Ford Escape. However, they pointed out that this exploit would work for any car with an ECU, which would be the vast majority of cars built after the mid-90s. While this doesn't relate directly to the case of Michael Hastings, it does indicate that the technology to remotely control someone else's car already exists. This isn't necessarily the first time people have hacked cars either. According to counterterrorism expert Richard Clark, there is reason to believe that intelligence agencies for major powers, including the United States, know how to remotely seize control of a car. Researchers at the University of Washington and the University of California have found similar exploits. It seems that the increasing electronic sophistication of the average car may well increase its vulnerability to hackers. But aside from academic researchers, who else has this technology? Is anyone using it successfully today? If so, then that's something they don't want you to know. It's quite terrifying when you don't have brakes, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> My instinct is just to like jump out the window. Yeah. <laughs> it's really scary.